गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल द ब्यूटिफुल पीपल ऑफ मणिपुर टू द फैमिली ऑफ गंभीर सिंह हिज फ्रेंड्स हिज रिलेटिव हुम आई कैन डायरेक्टली कॉन्टैक्ट आई एम रियली सैडन बाय हिज अनटाइमली पासिंग अवे ही वॉज अ फेंटेस्टिक ह्यूमन बींग आई विल कम टू दैट लेटर बट आई ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू थैंक ऑफिसर अमिताभ सिंह ऑफिसर प्रियो बर्तन सिंह आई वॉन्ट टू थैंक मिस्टर नॉन्गलेन ओमेंद्र मिस्टर समरेंद्र ओनाम दे वो दीज फ्यू पीपल एंड रोमेल दीज आर पीपल दैट कनेक्टेड विद मी वन आई डिस्कवर्ड गंभीर सिंह एंड आई मस्ट टेल यू यू मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड दैट आई हैव नेवर एवर स्पोकन अबाउट गंभीर सिंह एज आई विल स्पीक नाउ आई एम टॉकिंग फ्रॉम माई टेनिस कोट गंभीर सिंह I met him accidentally. I don't know him at all. I was at a predominant Muslim area, and there were these young kids. They were abusing him. They were calling him Nepali, and he was really, really getting pissed off. And he kept on saying, "Ki my money puri hai, my money puri hai." But the problem is, I mean, please forgive me, you northeastern people, because I'm very close to northeast India. For me, it is a heartbeat of India. I'll tell you one thing: nobody, I mean, mainstream. I'm talking about Mumbai. The people who live in slums and all don't know where Manipur is. They don't even know where Nepal is. But Nepal is famous for many other reasons. Anyway, I went to those boys. I told them, listen, don't tease him. He's elderly man, and that was that was the end of the chapter. I gave him some money, and I told him. He said, देखो बाबा ये मेरे को कर रहा है. I said, बच्चे जाने दो, माफ कर दो. Now I'll tell you another thing. After that, I never met him. But he used to come near my house. There is a country. joint which and he was an alcoholic but i tell you one thing whether he was an alcoholic whether he was a vagrant whether he was a beggar he was a manipuri with a lot of cultural identity he not, did not let that identity of his get diluted living 40 years in mumbai on the roads it's impossible believe me i'm living in mumbai from from the age of 5 my parents too lived in the slums so i know what it is and then i would meet him and i would talk to him and then one day i love shooting videos i shot his video and that video maybe he was drunk or whatever or maybe he was nostalgic for manipur and he told me that he that he told me in the video about himself kumbang and all those things now i'll tell you one very important thing about gambhir singh gambhir singh lived in mumbai he had a disease which i also have gone through it's called it's called alcoholism it happens to the best of us and the worst of us alcohol drinking is not a crime but you know there comes a time when alcohol starts riding you now what i want to tell you is that if if gambhir singh wanted he could have st stolen money he could have done lot of things to keep up with his drinking but he never did that this i know for a fact because he was a man of principles he was an army guy can you imagine that He never forgot his rifle number. He was from Manipur Rifles, and he said, "I don't know." He said he was there in the army for 17 years. So today, I want to tell the people of Manipur: it was you, not me. It was not my video. It was you that got him home safely. But then I will tell you another thing. Or ye kehte kehte na, I'm a heart patient. Ye kehte kehte, mujhe badi taklif ho rahi hai. कि जो बम्बई में रहता है वो बम्बई छोड़ के जाता है लेकिन बम्बई उसे कभी नहीं छोड़ती बम्बई ने बम्बई ने गंभीर सिंह को नहीं छोड़ा था और मैं आपको बताऊंगा आप बुरा ना मानिएगा आई एम स्पीकिंग इन हिंदी बट आई टॉक इन इंग्लिश ऑल्सो दैट गंभीर सिंह डाइट द डे वॉज अप्रूटेड फ्रॉम मुंबई बिकॉज इफ यू इफ यू रियली वॉन्टेड टू गो बैक दर वॉज नथिंग दैट कुड स्टॉप इम फ्रॉम गोइंग टू मणिपुर आई डोंट नो एनी थिंग अबाउट हिम आई विल टेल यू वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग एंड दिस इज समथिंग इफ यू आर ह्यूमन बींग यू विल अंडरस्टैंड I'm a fashion designer for Bollywood. I've been working with Mr. Danny Danzokpa for last forty years. I'm an actor. I'm a poet. I'm, I'm I'm not a social activist. I'm not into politics. But I will tell you one thing. When Mr. Priyo Bharatan and Amitabh Bach, uh, Amitabh Singh came to my house after they had found uh, Gambhir Singh, they came to felicitate me. But from the people of Manipur, they said, "I gave them thousand rupees." They said, "What are you doing?" I said, "No, I'm giving this money to you." to please give it to gambhir singh i think he's a very poor man you know what they told me they said he is in our custody in a hotel called siddharth hotel nobody is allowed to meet him but please you come there with us and give the money to him now listen to this 
and this is not a scripted thing. I'm talking impromptu. I went to Siddharth Hotel. One thing is that Gambir Singh never knew my name. I went. I said, and he was wearing a red T-shirt, and you know, he he was he he could have never expected that he was going back home, and he was going by flight. When I went in, I said, Gambir Singh, मुझको पहचाना? He said, Baba, मैं आपको पहचाने का ना आप तो मेरे को खाने के लिए पैसा देता था. I mean, you imagine that when I gave him money, I never for once even thought that he will drink. That is none of my business because this is the problem with us in India. You know, we are hypocritical to a certain extent. We don't give money to a you know we we feed crows, we feed uh, dogs, we feed cats. But do we ever feed a leper? Do we ever feed somebody who's hungry? There are people I've seen you know in Mumbai. They feed the pigeons, and there are hungry kids over there, you know. But they won't feed anything. Maybe there are some who feed, but this is what I'm talking to you. Maybe, maybe because I was an alcoholic 25 years back, I saw a part of me in a Gambir Singh, and this I've never mentioned, you know. And I'm happy that Vidya, who's on Twitter with me, she was the one who took my video, and I told her that the only way to find Gambir Singh is to contact Mumbai police. They are fantastic. Contact. Bandra police and the most important thing, tag on Twitter. I said tag Ashish Shelar. He is living in my building, and he is the MLA and Unam Mahajan ji, who is the MP. Because if you go to a police station and see a man is missing for 40 years, the first thing they will ask, what was he doing? So will you tell him that he is a beggar and he is drinking? The police have so many things on their head. So, I mean, I tell the people of Manipur. I in my life I tell you believe me believe me believe me if this happened in Delhi Madras Calcutta wherever if this had happened a man had gone missing for 40 years honestly nobody would care a damn but it is you people of Manipur without thinking of him as a beggar without thinking of him as an alcoholic you bought him back you gave him respect you gave him humanity you showed him that Manipur is not just a part of India it is a heart of India and this is what makes me cry because gambir singh i learned so many lessons from him i learned lessons from manipur people i don't know them when 3500 people added me on on facebook all manipuri i don't know them at all but then i had to delete them there was some problem you know my site got hacked so what i'm telling you today i'm uh, my friend sahil my coach sun is taking this video i'm taking it from the terrace court that I am really upset about Gambir Singh's passing away. He committed suicide. They said he hung himself from a tree near a bridge at Kumbang. I mean, what was his problem? What was his problem? There must have been some problem. Man does not commit suicide just this way. This is not Sushant Ray, you know. This is not him. And I am not trying to belittle Sushant Ray's uh, Sushant Ray's thing. But just imagine a man who dies. There is no controversy in Gambir Singh's life or his death. He lived his life. He never robbed. Again, I tell you this. He never robbed. He never stole. He never said bad words. He used to sing songs. Let me tell you that. He used to sing a song, and if you give him five rupees, he will take only one rupee. I mean, where will you find such a man like Gambir Singh? And I am telling you, when Gambir Singh was found, the Patsoi police station sent me a message that they wanted to bring me to to Kumbang. But I don't think I will ever be able to go because at that time I was doing a film with Mr. Dani, Kabuli Wala. So I don't think I could have ever gone, and I will not be able to see. I don't have the finance to come to Manipur. But I tell you one thing: that when Gambir Singh's story happened, was it the only story? Was it the only story? Because when Gambir Singh's story happened, BBC called me, uh, CNN called me, all these big news people called me, all these big, uh, you know, big. Uh, news channels called me i didn't want any uh, i don't want any fame or anything at the expense of gambir singh but was it a story that was so i mean it was so huge that people will never forget gambir singh gambir singh synonymous with manipur and so now i won't i won't stretch your imagination any further forgive me for any thing i may have said in my emotional outburst but i love gambir singh He is an amazing man, and I love you all, Manipuri people. God bless you all, and I hope that Gambi Singh story becomes folklore in your village, in your town, in your city, and people remember him. That a prodigal son came back home, not because of God, 
not because of the politics, not because of anything, but only because of the love of Manipur people. Jai Hind. Thank you.